What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jarrell Miller. Daniel Dubois, get this. According to Frank Warren, Frank Warren has revealed the voluntary anti-doping tests for this fight. And he said that the voluntary anti-doping agency is being used. He said every boxer is on the VADA program. Please, God, nobody fail the test. But if they do, they'll be out. Hmm. Those are the words of Frank Warren and let me counterpunch. Uh, I think, honestly, Jarrell Miller should already be on there if he's not there. But I think he is. You know, I don't think they're going to let uh, Jarrell Miller go anywhere astray anymore because they know, you know, because he is reputed. Matter of fact, he is convicted. <sighs> Excuse me. He is on the list of the people that they target. So I think he would probably get tested more than anybody else. But this is very important because first we know what VADA is uh, or what uh, doping agency is in charge. And VADA can come knocking on your door at any time. They, they will come knocking on your door at any time. They do not care. Three in the morning, seven in the morning, 10 in the morning, 10 at night, whenever they're coming. And for a lot of people that don't believe Jarrell Miller is supposed to be in the ring anyway, you know, this should calm their nerves and give them a peace of mind that, hey, it's going to be hard for anybody to cheat. And it would be absolutely extremely stupid for Jarrell Miller to try that shit again. I don't care if it's dick pills. I don't care what type of pills it really is. If it has anything that's illegal, do not consume it. Don't go anywhere near it. Because, see, here's the thing. This is what I expect from Jarrell Miller. What would be heartbreaking to me, very truly disappointing, would be that Jarrell Miller fails another drug test. Why? Because I look at that always the coward way out because if you get, if you get popped for drugs, you're not going to fight. If you don't fight, we never really see anybody challenge you or you challenge them. We never see if you could fail or succeed. We just know you cheated. So it's like more of a cowardly way out. Okay. I would rather be a brash Brooklynite shit talking number two best in the world type of fighter that uses my mouthpiece to promote myself and then get knocked out rather than be that guy that talks a bunch of shit, talks a lot of cap, and then gets popped dirty. Okay. Because it's almost like a big incomplete due to negligence on your end. You know, so um, he would always be that guy that, yelled at, well, we don't care what he would have done or what he could have done because whatever he was doing was not fair. OK, so, you know, so it's a lot of ways to look at that. So, I, again, I would like to see him fall from grace in the ring than, you know, get caught right before the ring trying to pull, pull some funny stuff, you know. So but it is good that Vada is in control of all of these fighters. You know, and Frank he is right. If they get caught, they're out. They just won't get that check. And I think that Jarrell Miller doesn't have time for that. And I'll say this. This is what I will say. OK. If Jarrell Miller gets tested or test positive again for the third and final time. I will be 100 100 percent convinced that he has a drug problem. And this is something people that a lot of, uh, uh, this is not really a talked about subject. Everybody looks at just, you know, guy, people that take, you know, and form performance enhancing drugs enhancers as, you know, cheaters. But then here's the deal. The deal is people that keep taking these things, it's a mental disorder at that point. They feel that they have to take some type of performance enhancing drug in order to be credible in whatever they're trying to do. They don't feel right without taking drugs. So they'll go to any lengths to take the drug still, even though they've been tested positive again and again and again. So they're still adamant on putting trash in their bodies because they're addicted to the idea that these drugs are the only way that they're going to succeed. Okay. And I will be convinced of Jarrell Miller, of being in that particular pool of people. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Frank Warren revealing that 
Vada will be in charge of the drug drug testing between Daniel Dubois and Jarrell Miller, along with everybody else in the tournament. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.